Hello everyone, it's Amber with Staying Crafty. I'm using this really cool acetate embellishment today to create a card. So the first thing I did was measure it. Um, very important for me to do in this case. I'm just using a repositionable adhesive to attach my card to my cutting mat. And I'm going to be using this circle cutter to cut out a circle. Uh, we're basically going to be creating a window so that the acetate uh, will be on top of this and we'll be able to see through it to the inside of the card and it'll let light through when the card is opened up. So I just went ahead and used my ATG to put um, just a thin line of adhesive and I can attach my acetate right there. So I cut the circle a half inch smaller than the acetate itself. And I'm just using uh, some diamond stickles here. I went all the way around. I didn't feel like you needed to see that whole process. And I'm just gonna cut some glitter paper that's gonna show through that window that we cut. It's my favorite glitter paper. Just sanding off a rough edge I got. And I have the glitter paper face down um, on top of the acetate. And that's kind of how I'm lining it up. And you'll sort of see here in a second. I make sure it's lined up pretty well and I'm checking from the front there too and then I just close the card like that and then when I open it up it stayed on the bottom because of the adhesive. So I'm using my ultimate crafters companion to tie a bow. Take that part and I take it over and then I take, <laughs> well I'm not very good at this, but the same part that I take over I'm then going to push under and through the back. Okay. Then I pull it over the top. This ribbon was a nightmare to tie a bow with. It was really thick for the size of bow I wanted. And then those little um, knobby decorations uh, on the edges made it really hard. So this isn't the best bow I've ever made, but um, it still turned out pretty cute. It's just not one of my best. So I want to add some ribbon to the bottom of the card. So I'm just adding some adhesive so that the ribbon won't be flopping around or moving or whatever. Especially since it's near the bottom of the card, I decided that I'd just put adhesive all the way around so that the ribbon wouldn't shift at all. And my table's, for the most part, nonstick, so it was a little difficult to lift this up, but I mean, I did get it off. It wasn't a huge deal. So then I just took my ribbon and I had determined that I wanted my bow to be in the center. So what I'm doing is laying my ribbon so that the seam will be in the center. And that way the bow will cover it up so no one will ever see where the ribbon meets. Because, you know, for the most part I'm kind of trying to create the illusion that there's a bow tied with this ribbon. Although it'll be pretty obvious it's not since the ribbon stays the same width even in the center. But, you know, that's kind of the look I'm going for. So this fray check will keep the ribbon from fraying. I use this on a lot of my cards with ribbon, especially when I'm doing satin ribbon like this because it frays really easily. So a pop-up glue dot is just the thing to attach the little bow that I've made. You just stick the bow right to it. It lifts it up. You can manipulate it a little bit if you need to, if it's going to show or something like that. Just kind of squish it and just put it right down on the card. It took me several tries to cut this the way I wanted, but I uh, finally got it here on this last try. For some reason, I just could not get the sides to look even. I don't know what my problem was, but this is my best attempt there at the end. And just more fray check. It's even more important here on the bottom of the bow than it was where I put it earlier. So if you're going to use it, make sure you use it here because that's where it would show the worst um, if it ever started to fray. And that's just a way to preserve the card you've worked so hard on. So I know this card is really simple and it's something kind of different. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. But it was really fun to try something new and use up an embellishment I've had sitting around for a long time. So thank you so very much for watching. I sure appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. Be sure and stop by my blog.